Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on Unit 4, the financial sector. We are focused on monetary policy. This is subunit 4.6. This is part one, and we are just doing the big picture of monetary policy in this video, okay? There's going to be a couple uh, uh, more parts to come for this 4.6 subunit, but in this video, let's do big picture monetary policy. You see I've got this visual right here. It's really just going to be this flow of money starting here with the Fed, hoping to make it to the product market. And guys, that kind of gives us some learning right there. Monetary policy controlled by the Fed. What is monetary policy? It is the manipulation of the money supply to stabilize the economy. Now, let's talk about how you stabilize an economy. Well, economies grow like this, of course, up and down, up and down, booms and busts. So what we want to do is what are called counter cyclical policies. When we're booming, we want to cool the economy down. And when we're busting, we want to stimulate it or try to expand it back up, okay? So we want to do counter cyclical policies. So that means when we're busting, we're going to want to push money into the economy and try to get more spending. When we're booming, we're going to pull money out of the economy trying to get less spending, okay? So once again, what is monetary policy? It is the manipulation of the money supply to stabilize the economy. Who is in control of the money supply? That's the Fed. The Fed is the U.S. Central Bank. And so from a more global standpoint, we should simply say the central banks of a country. But from a U.S. standpoint, of course, the Fed is the U.S. Central Bank. Know something here, guys. The central bank in the economy is not a commercial bank, okay? You can't go there. I can't go there to get a loan, all right? It is the central bank. It basically, what I want you to think of is it sits on top of the banking system, apart from, but on top of, okay? It does many different roles. We've talked about check clearing or some regulatory functions like controlling the required reserve ratio. But one of the major things it does is controls the money supply in the economy. The way that it controls the money supply in the economy is via this financial market, i.e. the loanable funds market, okay? What this thing is often called by people who talk about monetary policy, okay, by um, teachers and professors of monetary policy is the transmission mechanism. So the Fed wants to change the amount of money in the economy. They're going to work through this market, i.e. banks. They're going to work through banks to either increase the money supply or decrease the money supply. Okay, with all that said, let's get to some actual monetary policy. Let's assume that we're in a recession, okay? We are busting. So what the Fed wants to do is they want to get more spending. How are they going to get more spending? What they want to do is they want to increase the money supply, trying to get interest rates to go down so that households and businesses will borrow more and spend more. So let's just go ahead and fill in our diagram here, okay? The Fed, what they can do is they can just print out Federal Reserve notes, if you will, at least from a conceptual standpoint. They really do it electronically, but it's not bad conceptually to kind of think physical for a second. They can print out Federal Reserve notes. What are Federal Reserve notes? Guys, take out any piece of paper that represents or any currency in your, in your wallet, okay? Take out any currency in your wallet, and you'll see at the top of that currency, it says Federal Reserve notes. So that's what I'm talking about. They can print those out, and they can get those into the banking system. What is their way of getting those Federal Reserve notes into the banking system? They're gonna do what's called open market purchases. Open market purchases. They're gonna buy an asset from the banks. What's the number one asset they're gonna buy? U.S. Treasury bonds. So here's what's gonna happen. They're gonna buy U.S. Treasury bonds. So the bonds are gonna to head to the Fed, okay? That dashed black line is the US, bond, U.S. Treasury bonds heading to the Fed that banks own. So we're saying banks own U.S. Treasury bonds, and they do. They're going to buy those from the banks, and they are going to push into the banks what we would call reserves, okay? Which, again, are these Federal Reserve notes. They're pushing those into the banking system. Now, I'm being very technical here, guys. I'm not using the word money right now. Now, if you wanted to say money, it wouldn't be that big a deal, okay? But I'm being very technical. Those Federal Reserve notes that they print out and push into the banking system, these reserves, that's what that word I'm talking about, that they push into the banking system, they're not money. Why are they not money? Because the Fed, when they print them out, they can't use them to buy goods and services. And when they put them into the banks, the banks can't use them to buy goods and services, okay? So we don't want to call it money, it's just reserves. But guys, reserves are really close to being money. As soon as they get lent out to either banks, I'm sorry, to either businesses 
or households, it becomes money. So again, they push those reserves into, into the financial market. These reserves are loanable funds, okay? Banks can lend these reserves out. So they are increasing the amount of loanable funds in the banking industry or in the banking sector. What is gonna to happen to the price of loanable funds if they're increasing the amount of loanable funds? It's gonna go down. The interest rate, that is, is gonna go down because the price of loanable funds is the interest rate. The interest rate's gonna go down. That's exactly what the Fed wants to do. That's what they're trying to do. Let's push money in, let's get interest rates to go down, trying to encourage businesses and households to then go to that financial market and borrow money. Now, I wanna be careful, okay? We de generally don't think of households as being net borrowers. They're net savers. So on that, okay, households are certainly saving money, but this action by the Fed is to increase the borrowing of households and, of course, borrowing business. In fact, this is the number one thing the Fed is focused on. It's not so much households, though they want households to borrow more. It's businesses they really want to borrow, okay? So we're trying to get money to flow both into households and into businesses. Again, one more time, don't get confused here, okay? I've got money going from the financial market to the households. I generally don't do that because on net, households save more than they borrow. I'm just simply illustrating this Fed action is going to get more money flowing this direction, okay? So, they borrow, they borrow. What's the only reason we borrow? It is to spend money. This would be business investment. That I is investment. That's what we call um, spending done by businesses when businesses spend money on themselves. And this is consumption. That's what we call household spending. So they are trying to increase and increase. That capital I, again, invested. Remember, the interest rate here in the loanable funds markets, lowercase i, they're trying to get to go down when they push those reserves into the banking system. That's it, guys. That's monetary policy. In a nutshell, shell, that's how it's working. Fed, they're going to increase reserves. You can think of it electronically, fine, with the press of a button, or you can literally think of uh, Federal Reserve notes, just printing them out. Okay, now I've got these Federal Reserve notes. How do I get them into banks? I'm going to buy bonds. They push those Federal Reserve notes into banks. Those Federal Reserve notes, while they're in banks, are not in circulation. They're not money yet. However, they are loanable funds. What's going to happen to the interest rate? It's going to go down, hoping businesses and households borrow that money and then spend it because that's what they're trying to do. They're fighting the recession. This is called easy monetary policy. They are trying to be very easy with money so that there will be more money out there and we will spend. We will buy goods and services. Hope that made sense to you. We'll see you in the next video.